telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock Welcome to the tutorial for a epic flourish called Berber. It is by a man called Eduardo, who is an absolute legend. This flourish is totally credited to him, so there will be uh, links to his Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever he wants in the link down below. So you should totally go and check him out. This flourish is 100% his creation. Uh, I saw him post a video of this flourish on Instagram, and I was like, yo. I totally love that, I need to learn it, so I messaged him, and he was like, yeah man, yeah man, so he taught me it, um, which is totally cool of him, and then I was like, more people need to see this flourish, so I asked him if I could make a tutorial for it, and he said, yeah, that's totally cool, so just to reiterate, this flourish is 100% his, nothing to do with me, I'm just teaching it, Eduardo, somebody or other, I've forgotten his second name, please don't hold me to it, he's in the link down below, you should totally go and check him out, this is... Berber. I should mention before we go any further that this flourish, uh, Eduardo is actually a lefty or a righty, depending on what you want to say. He uses uh, the other, the other way around, hands. So uh, I've made the tutorial in both, um, both flips. I'm going to do a flip tutorial. So if you jump to whatever number it says on the screen now. Uh, then you will be able to see it in the opposite hand if you are of that affinity, if that's the right word. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, this flourish starts in a mechanic script. No, it doesn't. This flourish starts um, like a swing cut. So you hold the packet with your middle finger, sort of support most of the deck, and then your first finger breaks off a small packet. Um, against your thumb. Um, <clears throat> so like that, like you were going to swing cut it, which is nice and basic and easy, everybody knows. Uh, but you turn the packet face down uh, with it swing cutted, and you cutted, you break a little packet off with your thumb uh, from the back of the deck there against your middle finger again. So you get this Z, W, whatever it is people want to say. You come over with your first finger of your left hand, and you now swing cut the packet from the top. <laughs> And you bring the packet from the bottom over as well. So you end up with this really cool double packet coming out thing, which is ace. The top packet is going to drop down into like a straddly grip, maybe it's called, in between your first finger and your pinky finger, supported by your two fingers at the bottom there. And the this packet, the bottom packet, just stays in between your thumb and your first finger. You don't actually let that go. You bring forward, but you just keep that grip there. What you do now is you turn your hands open so you get this little V shape open up in between the two packets that you're still supporting um, to which you poke this first packet, you sort of roll it down in between them there onto the third finger of your right hand will be there. To I mean it can be supported in the two packets but your third finger is here at the bottom corner just so that it doesn't you know, fall or whatever. Uh, your first third finger then pushes it up to your thumb so you've got them grabbed like that. What you do now is you repeat that uh, first move we did, which is like a swing cut. You swing cut the top one over, and the bottom one goes as well into the same kind of grip. Except this time, the thumb before the thumb packet stayed underneath it. You now extend that packet out in between your middle finger and your thumb, just like that, and let that packet fall. Uh, completely into your left hand. What you do here is you come out with your right hand and then you turn with your middle finger to turn this packet anti-clockwise and put it on top of the deck and then with your hand you continue the motion with your third finger and thumb and pop that packet just on top of the deck like that uh, and that's basically it. It's really short and simple but it's pretty damn good. Credit to Edwardy, oh, go follow him, like him, thumb him up, everything, give the man some love, because he's a legend. Um, we'll run over that quickly one more time, and then we'll just go and hug each other. Break with the thumb and the first finger. Swing cut. Catch it. Open up. 
poke that packet back through, clip it in between your thumb and your middle finger, then swing cut again. Come out, let the packet fall, then come around. And the movement with my thumb here is so I sort of come over and then around and onto it. And if you're using a deck um, like tallies or something like that, which has got the little circle in the middle, it looks absolutely ace. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you took something away from that and have a nice day. Woo! Uh, this flourish starts in a mechanics grip. No, it doesn't. This flourish starts um, like a swing cut. So you hold the packet with your middle finger, sort of supporting most of the deck, and then your first finger breaks off a small packet um, against your thumb. Um, <clears throat> so like that, like you were gonna swing cut it, which is nice and basic and easy, everybody knows. Uh, but you turn the packet face down uh, with it swing cutted, and you cut it, you break a little packet off with your thumb uh, from the back of the deck there against your middle finger again. So you get this Z, W, whatever it is people want to say. You come over with your first finger of your left hand and you now swing cut the packet from the top and you bring the packet from the bottom over as well. So you end up with this really cool double packet coming out thing which is ace. The top packet is going to drop down into like a straddly grip maybe it's called in between your first finger and your pinky finger supported by your two fingers at the bottom there and the this packet the bottom packet just stays in between your thumb and your first finger you don't actually let that go you bring forward but you just keep that grip there what you do now is you turn your hands open so you get this little V shape open up in between the two packets that you're still supporting um, to which you poke this first packet, you sort of roll it down in between them there onto the third finger of your right hand will be there. To, I mean it can be supported in the two packets but your third finger is here at the bottom corner just so that it doesn't you know, fall or whatever. Uh, your first third finger then pushes it up to your thumb so you've got them grabbed like that. What you do now is you repeat that uh, first move we did which is like a swing cut. You swing cut the top one over and the bottom one goes as well into the same kind of grip except this time the thumb before the thumb packet stayed underneath it you now extend that packet out in between your middle finger and your thumb just like that and let that packet fall uh, completely into your left hand what you do here is you come out with your right hand and then you turn with your middle finger to turn this packet anti-clockwise and put it on top of the deck and then with your hand you continue the motion with your third finger and thumb and pop that packet just on top of the deck like that uh, and that's basically it it's really short and simple but it's pretty damn good credit to Eduardi O go follow him like him thumb him up everything give the man some love because he's a legend um, we'll run over that quickly one more time and then we'll just go and hug each other Break with the thumb and the first finger. Swing cut. Catch it. Open up. Poke that packet back through. Clip it in between your thumb and your middle finger. Then swing cut again. Come out. Let the packet fall. And then come around. And the movement with my thumb here is so I sort of come over and then around and onto it. And if you're using a deck um, like tallies or something like that which has got the little circle in the middle it looks absolutely ace. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you took something away from that and have a nice day. Woo!